In this video, I'm quickly going to explain context managers and with that a bit of I.O. So context managers can be seen as a conceptual counterpart to functions, a complement to functions. And as one of the Python core developers once said, if we use function, we make the stuff in between other operations reusable, as I told you, as I explained to you before, with the do many stuff in one function. And in a context manager, um, we make the stuff around other stuff reusable instead of the stuff in between. So it's basically a sandwich function. We execute something before and after something. And we can create our own context managers. And Python also um, provides a bunch of context managers by itself where it wants to make sure that some stuff is executed before you run and after you run some stuff. And invoking a context manager always happens with the with statement. So always you see in the with statement and then, th then something and then that you know there's a context manager invoked. And something is a context manager if it at least defines, so it's a class that at least defines the Dunder methods enter and exit. And how this then simply works is that whenever you, uh, whenever you invoke the context manager using the with keyword, when doing so, the Dunder method enter of the context manager is executed. And when you exit it, the Dunder method exit is executed. So in this case here, um, we would first print the entering context, then whatever is inside here. And then before the indentation area is left, we still exit the context. And this makes sense. And this is really useful because this way you cannot forget to execute this stuff after afterwards, for example, tidying up, this is useful in file IO, and this is also useful in some other situations because it's still executed no matter if you exit functions or if you raise exceptions in between. So if I have, for example, a function and in this function, I invoke the context manager and then I return, if I had stuff normally, if I had stuff here, it wouldn't be executed. But in this case, it does. So the context manager is exited no matter if we return in between or if we exit a function in another way, for example, by raising exceptions. So the context manager always the entering stuff and the exiting uh, functions, methods of the context manager are always executed. And a perfect use case where this is useful is, for example, file IO. Okay, I think I already told you. So how do we write to a file? Well, imagine we have this string. And then using the function open and then the name of the file and then a mode, we get a file handle. Okay, this mode must be either read, write, append, or the same, same things in binary. You cannot um, open a file in read, write mode. So if you wanted to do that, you would um, have to first open the file and read it. And if it doesn't exist, handle that, and then open it and write it. Or you'd simply append if you only need to append. Now you see that this file here was added, and then we can simply write a string to that file, and then we must not forget to close the file because if we have many file handles open, so if, for example, open, a fi open files in a loop and this loop executes hundreds or thousands of times, then eventually uh, we're going to kill the computer. That actually still happens. Okay, so now if we look at the file, we see it's there. We have the same check here. Um, just like we can write files here, we can read it. Now that it exists, we can open it with a reading mode call the function the method read lines on the file handle and then we can loop over these lines this returns some kind of collection which we can iterate over we've learned iteration already and then we can print these lines note that the lines contain the new line already so if we had if we had the normal new line here we would print two new lines in between so it would look like this and we don't get rid of this so we would like this okay and if the file doesn't exist um, we get an exception and we would need to handle this exception. We get a final font error, thus we would have to put this in a try except block and handle the final font error. Okay, however, here we always have to remember that we have to close the file handle. And if we, for example, depending on if line equals, I don't know, then return, if we had this in here, then we wouldn't close the file. And this is something which is really hard to keep in mind in C, and this is the reason for all these memory leaks in C. In Python, this is easier done because Python provides a context manager for opening files. So I can use the with and then the open file, and then I can write the s something 
and this then calls enter right here and then I do this stuff and then I um, it calls exit automatically afterwards. Okay, so what do we see here? I have the S keyword as well. And this is because the enter function of the file, so the file context manager may look something like this. And this is because the enter function can return something. And whatever is returned in this enter function um, can be assigned to a variable here such that we can use, for example, we can inside the enter function here, open the file and return it such that we can use inside this context, we have the variable file context. So this is how we may imagine the file, uh, the open context manager works. So a context manager may have an initialize method such that we can execute it. Um, so we may override, so it always has a constructor obviously, but we can override it using our own arguments such that we can add these here. And then we can, for example, set them to um, instance variables. And then when we enter, we use the open function. And then when we exit, we, because we, we shouldn't forget, we close the file handle. And now with this, we cannot forget to close the file. Actually, I haven't wrote it. I didn't wrote, I didn't write it. So oh, save file. Um, I have to open it here. Okay. And now it works. And we cannot forget to close it no matter how we exit. More info here.